You know Nev Campbell is like Cam Campbell. Nev Campbell. Neverly Campbell. <laughs> Everybody, what's up? This is your boy Jay um, coming at you with another video. This one's gonna be kind of a fun one. I actually went to the movies last night and I went to see. Can you guess just by that? Is that even doing it justice? Can you even tell what that is? I don't know. I went to see Scream. I should insert that little like, ee, 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 little like knife, like stabby noise, but we'll see if I could do that. I don't even know how to edit my first video. But here I am making another one, so whatever. We'll see what happens. The thing with Scream is it's kind of like um, a horror movie in a horror movie, kind of like a parody almost, like, like, it's like a serious parody, if you could, like, call it that. They follow a lot of cliches um, that happen in, like, a lot of other slasher movies. Um, they kind of, like, break down the rules of the slasher movies and how it all has to go down and why it has to go down in certain ways. Um, but you're kind of in on the joke with them, if that makes sense. You're not really watching it. It's kind of like they're all aware, well aware of what's going on. It's just that like we're watching it all unfold with them. So it's kind of an interesting take on horror and I like it. You know, it's not your traditional I'm scared and possessed and I'm going to be scared to have my feet hanging off the bed. Like it's a different type of like scary, which I like. I will say in this one, the stabbing is like... They're like, okay, bitch, if we're going to make a fucking new scream and we're going to go back to using like a classic, like old fashioned butcher knife, then we're going to really go in. And they really did go in like whenever they were stabbing. I was just sometimes like, okay, but the one at the end fully was deserving. It fully was like, well, deserved a couple of the other ones, like the. Uh, I don't want to like give anything away, but the way that they did my boy, uh, the way he did my boy, oh, that was so sad. But I literally remember being, I don't know how old, but being a little kid, maybe like, I don't know, five to seven, um, somewhere in that age range and maybe even a little bit younger, but I remember growing up with Scream. I was born in 1995, so like coming into like the 2000s, like those movies um, were movies from my childhood. So um, I don't know if that's like a good or bad thing, but everyone has like those fucked up movies from your childhood. That's like, you should not have been watching those movies, but everybody's watching those movies whenever they're fucking like, what, like five, seven, 10 years old. That's just what the hell goes on. But. I remember watching Scream and I don't really know exactly why, but it always intrigued me. And I was kind of like a little scaredy cat kid. Like I didn't really like scary shit. Like I didn't really like um, horror movies. Whenever we would watch horror movies, I was always the one that did not want to watch horror movies. I would be super scared. Like I just wasn't fucking with that at all. But for some reason I always liked Scream. So found out that they were coming out with the new one I was just really kind of like firstly excited because they were gonna bring the original cast back and then um nervous or I didn't know what to expect because the last Scream um I forget which one it was I'll have to look exactly maybe Scream 4 I think it was it just sucked it would just seem like it really was like kind of just put together just like for the fuck of it like someone was like oh we're gonna remake scream we're gonna add these girls and we're just gonna do the damn thing but it just didn't work i don't think and i love emma roberts but i just in american horror story she's like one of my favorites but in the scream i just did not like her and honestly she's pretty much the only person that like i can really remember from that movie to begin with but anyways the first one through three are pretty much like 
classics the first one for sure second one okay third one yes anything after that okay it was a no-go then this one came around and i think that they put a little bit more emphasis into this one because they kind of were paying like tribute or paying their respects to wes craven i believe is the original director um could be wrong about the name wes is the first name i don't know where i got craven from but hopefully that's what it is well he's the original director of like the first three i think and they i think took their time with this one kind of wanted to like basically lay the shit to rest like okay we're gonna give you guys this one it's gonna be good it's gonna be what you guys actually wanted and it's gonna be done and i don't want to spoil anything i kind of hope it's not done because surprisingly the new cast that they introduced the younger kids their acting sucked but i was interested in them for some reason and i wanted to know more about them and now i want to see what the next generation of scream would be with those people and maybe the old people some of the old people that survived spoiler alert but I just am interested to see what it's going to be now, if there even is going to be anything. Hopefully, if there is, they continue to, like, do it justice and really do it good. Because this is the kind of, like, franchise that, like, if you don't keep it interesting, it's just going to come off really, like, one note and it's going to come off mediocre, pretty much. So, you kind of really got to know what to do and where to take the story. And in this one, they really did. It really kept me, like, ah! biting my freaking nails i was like in the theater like fidgeting i couldn't stay still but i really enjoyed it um i think that besides the first one this one might be one of the best ones the first one and this one i think that they really did a pretty good job um you know nev campbell is like cam campbell nev campbell neverly Campbell. You know that Nev Campbell is, like, my girl. Like, I was the type of gay boy that, like, whenever I was young, like, I wanted to be that bitch. Like, I wanted to be the main girl. Like, and the fact that, like, she was pretty. She had, like, pretty brown hair. She was, like, strong because of everything she went through. And she would fight and, like, fuck shit up. Like, I was, like, I want to be that bitch. Like, I always, like, wanted to be her. So I remember, like, pretending. <laughs> to be her whenever I was little and I was really happy just to basically see her back see her like in good action and she looks literally so good like no shade honestly no shade no shade no tea no shade but I have to be real I feel like Courtney Cox is looking a little her age and there's nothing wrong with looking your age at all I th still think that she looked beautiful, but I just was really like, I didn't realize in the first movies that they're pretty much like 10 years apart, but now I can tell that. So whatever, Courtney Cox even still like brought that like bad bitchery back like in the Gale character. So I was happy to see her back too. Um, and Dewey, um, David Aquaret, I think is his name, but um, I was just happy to see them all and I feel like their chemistry I don't know if it's true like truly their chemistry or if it's just that they are good actors because the or I don't know what it is honestly I don't know you guys could like tell me maybe I'm just maybe it's just because the new cast and the new generation and like I can clearly have like some type of memory of the original cast members like I have like perceptions or whatever i don't even know what the fuck i'm saying anyways i just feel like their chemistry was real and i never honestly truthfully realized like how connected like i was to to gail dewey and um sydney and i yeah i just got kind of like emotional because i was like damn if this is the last one this is like my childhood now is like that's it. i'm literally an adult now but they really did do it justice i went to see the last two new halloween movies 
and I feel like they also were doing that uh, franchise justice too so whenever I heard that they were doing Scream I was like damn like if if it's not good and if it doesn't have like the type of budget and if they don't have like the time that they put into like Halloween into this Scream I don't think they should do it but I think they did what they could do like to the best of their ability um and I am excited and I am hopeful that there actually is more I do enjoy it like today like I wish it was on Netflix or I wish it was already streaming so I could just rewatch it I liked it that much um but yeah I don't know if you guys have seen it if you have seen it let me know what you guys think of it I thought it was like great honestly I loved it if you hated it tell me why I do want to know I can see why somebody could possibly hate it because in the beginning it took me um, a little bit to kind of like open up to it and kind of like warm up because I was just kind of like they're really gonna do it like this in terms of like the acting and like the lines that they were saying I was just like they could have put this on Netflix but once that original cast started to like come through and things started to pick up it did get a lot better and that's why I'm saying I don't know if it's because like the original cast is just like their chemistry and the history and the fact that like we already know them it it kind of like puts us in a place where it's easier to follow the story better than with the new cast um but in terms of like the main I don't even know honestly what her name is but the main new girl um I liked her and I liked that um point of view um regarding like the whole storyline and why they were all brought back and how it all happened and folded out I thought that it was pretty interesting and they did a pretty good job so I'm not mad at all about that so let me know what you guys think about it I don't know what it is I keep having like an itch or like feel like something right here but anyways let me know what you guys think about the movie um if you guys have watched any of the old ones which one is your favorite and also i'm thinking about going back to watch some of the old ones so if you guys really 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 like remember like a specific one that like i have to watch let me know because in the middle of them like in terms of between like one to now it's a little bit blurry all right i am editing this video um I just woke up, so that's why I look like this. But I realized that I completely forgot about the Scream series. Um, I did check that out as well. I didn't finish it, but it aired on MTV, and I think there's like two to four seasons. If you guys have watched that, let me know. But I just wanted to add this because I forgot to mention it. You feel me? Like, it's been a few years, so I need to really, like, go back and watch them to, like, really understand which ones that I like the most, but go check it out let me know what you think if you like this video like subscribe definitely give me a comment let me know which one was your favorite will be i will be back soon and i will see you guys whenever the fuck i'm back i guess bye